there are three ways to add a course to a funnel. And what's amazing in here is we have seen so many changes and more is coming when it comes to this amazing software. What we're going to be doing here is showing you those three ways that you can add a course to your funnel. Most of us are familiar with creating a course. If you're not, then what happens is you will go into your products and you can actually create a course product. When you create a course, you can create what's called an offer. So when you click on the offer, you would give it the offer title, add the product, meaning the membership course, what the cost is, and you can create that offer. What happens when you create an offer is, let's go ahead and look at one of these. Let me just go ahead and edit here. You can set up your offer to give it details, upsells, all kinds of fun things. So what happens when you create an offer to the course is you can get a link. When you select get a link, it's going to give you a link right here. When I copy it, I'm going to just open this up in a new window. And here is the offer. You can edit, design, or do whatever you'd like with this page. Now, it's limited to the amount of things that you can do based on creating your offer page. You can only put in like the title, the description, and, you know, it's limited. And until they update this, this is pretty much what we're looking at. When you select edit checkout, you can see you just have just a few details here that you can go in and change to make it look like this. You can copy the URL from the link that we just did. You can copy the link in here as well, get link. Or you could go back to your offers and literally just grab the link from the side. So we've got a URL link. Let's go ahead and go into a funnel. I'm gonna go ahead and select this funnel that I created. Now, you guys are probably already starting to create your funnels and that's wonderful. Maybe you've already started on doing a funnel and you've created your first page, second page, and now you came to, oh my gosh, how do I put my course into the funnel? Based on the three ways, this is going to be the first way, and that is to add the link that we just copied into your funnel. So when you go into your funnel, you could have a button here, and where the button is, when you scroll down to the button, you can have the button go to a open website URL. And that is where you could paste in the URL right there. They could go to this crazy page, which this is an old page. Uh, gosh, so much has changed since then. But they could literally go in here and edit your page and then just add a button. So you could have like just a quick squeeze page with click here. When they click on the button, it's going to open up the offer and they can go ahead and register. That's the first way, just using your offer link and putting it into a funnel. The second way is if you're selling a course and you want to sell this course, the second way is going to be to add a payment product to put that in here where you can have an easy to use one step or two step order form. So you're going to be able to find the order forms inside your elements and you'll look for the one step or the two step order form. Now, just by adding this order form here does not attach a product. What do we mean by a payment product? When you go into the payments section and you go into the products, you're going to want to either find a product that you've already created or create a product. I'm gonna show you how to create a product versus how to create an offer and how you can use this in your one and two step order form. So what we'll do is we'll come in here and we'll just easily add a new product. I wanna turn this dial off and I'm gonna show you why here in just a little bit. We're just gonna call this our course. You would put it, give a description, you could put a picture. You'll fill out all your payment, course, course information, image if you'd like your tax information. And then right here, you would put your one-time price or if it's a reoccurring course, this is where you would put your price. Let's just say this one's gonna be a $97 course. Right here, when you look for additional options, when you click on this, it's going to say, okay, let's give the price a description. You would put course, whatever you'd like there. 
but you're going to see this membership offer. Now you have to create an offer in your courses, like we showed you. You have to create an offer that's within the courses to attach the offer to the course. So when I turn this dial on, I would need to select the offer that I created. So I created an offer for this Learn 25 course. See how it says offer? I will list my offers as an offer. And that's just creating the new offer, attaching the course to it. Now we can set it all up to add the offer. You can even attach it to multiple offers. So what does this mean when it says select the offer? An offer allows the system to click on that offer, create a contact, and have that offer that you've created be able to have access to that course that you've created to attach to the contact inside of your contacts. And this allows your contact to be able to utilize a login, a magic link to access their library and access the course. So what happens here by putting in a product here and attaching an offer says, okay, we've got this product. We want to track it in our products. But when they buy this product, we want to make sure that they have access to this membership offer. So when they purchase, it's like, boom, it relates the person to the membership offer to be able to access the course. Now, when you select save right here, that is then going to create your product. So let's go back into your funnel. Now there's nowhere here to put your product. So what we need to do is we're gonna go back out of that funnel and you'll be on the main page right here. And what you wanna look for is right over here where it says products. Now we've got two steps. So hopefully it makes sense that you want to add the product to the right step or the right page in your funnel. So we don't need to put the product on the thank you page. We need to put the product on the page that has the actual order form. And all you'll do is select product. And this is where you'll go in and you would select add, select the products and find the product that you want to add. If you were to, let's say, just add a product, you would select a price point for the product, give your product a name. And then this little area is where it shows in the price display of your funnel, of your two-step funnel. So let's just say, for example, this was the course I selected. I would put in 97 and then right down here, I'm just gonna put in 97 here to show you where this shows up. Let's go ahead and select save and you'll see on my purchase page, let's go ahead and delete this one. And it's gonna ask you if you wanna delete the wrong price or the wrong product there. Right here's the product name. That's the product we just brought in from the product we created. And there it is. Now, let's go into the purchase menu. Let's go ahead and edit this. And remember, I showed you the checkout spot and you won't see the price or any information here because you just have the element. Let's go ahead and preview the element. And when you preview the element, you'll see that the plan, the quantity, and the price all shows up. And that's how you want your pricing to show up. When they click it, they're ready to go. And that's how you add a product into your payments and product by creating a actual product with a price inside of your funnel. The third way to do this would be an actual form. So I picked a funnel that we use that uses the form element and a workflow to be able to set this up as well inside of a funnel. Here is my squeeze page. And all we did was add a button right here that opens a pop-up where you can put a form inside of a pop-up like this, or you can use the form element and bring over a form. You don't want to do a random form. You want to create a specific form for that course that they fill out. What I like about doing a form for free courses is that it allows us to capture information and direct them to another page with more information as well. That's what makes funnels amazing. But if you wanted somebody to just fill out a form for a free course, 
you could add the button or you can add the element by just embedding that specific form. If you wanted to just add a form, you would select the form from here, any form that you would like. Let me select the learn for free now. It would embed the form into your page. Now, the form would not be connected to a payment. This would just be connected to a possible registration. Adding a form, you could easily add a workflow utilizing the form. You can add a workflow utilizing the course offer link, and you can add a workflow utilizing the product link. Inside of the workflow, this is where you would add the trigger and you would see the form is, and based on that trigger, you could then create an opportunity. You can grant them access to the offer in the course. You could grant them access to other courses. You can add tags and the list goes on. You can even add them to grant them access to a community, a group, and so much more. And that would be how you would do that as a form. Let me show you the types of triggers here. When you look at your triggers, you can create course triggers here for new sign up, which means they signed up from your offer page, right? The original first link, the course link that I showed you would be the sign up link that they signed up with. The offer access granted, you can see right here, we granted access as an action, but you could also grant access as a trigger. Then you can also do payment received if you're selecting the payment option of the product. For example, in the funnel, if you added the one or two step order form and attached the payment option to that, you could select payment received and trigger your workflow based on that. They made the payment. So let's go ahead and grant them access to the offer. Let's go ahead and recap. The first way is utilizing your course offer link and adding it to a button. The second way is going into payments and creating a new product. Just don't forget to turn this dial off for the online store and make sure that you add the option to the membership offer in the product. And the final way is adding the form to your actual funnel either a pop-up or on the page to allow them to be able to fill out a form and go into the workflow. And those are the three ways that you can add your course to any funnel, whether you're doing it free or paid. I hope that this has helped you out. I know that it can be a little bit confusing. It's really amazing to be able to have all of these options to be able to do uh, things that we want, how we want them done, in the way that we want them done. And high level allows you to do that.